Hey boxers, welcome to Build Box Guru. And have you ever wanted to be creating your own inventory system? Uh, but you don't know how to create the art, you don't know how to program these kind of things. Let me help you. It's super simple and today we're gonna dive into the first part of creating our art of our inventory system in this tutorial from art to game. It's gonna be super exciting and I'm super excited to go and do this with you guys. So in this series we are going to be creating a complete fully fledged inventory system and we're gonna make that work in BuildBox. If you are wanting to create this into an other game engine, then you pretty much can use the things you learn in there. But here on BuildBox Guru, we're going to do that in BuildBox. So why don't you just dive in? But before you do, make sure to subscribe to the channel, read the description because the links to the Infinity Designer download, to the downloads for the assets that you need, and how to subscribe to the channel are in there. You can also find there a link to join our Discord server. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the little bell. I'll be sure to not spam you with all sorts of annoying notifications, but you will be up to date about new updates. So let's dive into the video and get going. Hey boxers, welcome to this new tutorial in which we're going to be making an inventory screen from art to game. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Avinity Designer. So if you don't know where to get Avinity Designer or how to get it for free, you can get a 30 day trial from the official website. The link will be down in the description. So make sure you check that out. So what we will be doing is we will be going over to Fell in the left top corner, then click open and we will open our inventory screen. I will link a download in the description where you can find and get the art that we are going to be needing. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating our first inventory slot and then create this wall bar that we have over here. So we're going to make in total around 12 slots. And in this case, we're going to get started with an empty slot and then work our way around it. So I'm going to show you guys first how to make an inventory slot in this tutorial. I'm going to make one slot, then speed up the progress for the empty slots and filling that in. And in the next tutorial, we will be creating the next parts at the end of the tutorial i will also show you guys how you can implement this into buildbox and in the last tutorial we will cr create and code the functionality for our inventory system so that it works fluently and nice so what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to create the same looking ui here but fully functional for our game so the first thing that i want to do is i want to go and grab the pen tool by either clicking it or pressing p on my keyboard the next thing that I want to do is I want to zoom in on this artwork here because this is the one that I want to be making. So first things first, I'm going to click into the top and I'm going to hold shift to go down and get a perfectly straight line. I'm going to click and drag that line to the right, then click, drag it up. And when I'm totally up, I'm going to align these two with each other and that will be line one. The next thing that I want to do is I want to select the stroke here and go to swatches and then select the swatch with the little minor, like the red arrow or pointer down so the background is gone. Now I want to fill this color. I'm going to select a gray color for now um, and I'm going to move this below the background. Because the first thing that I want to do right now is I want to get the color picker. You can either press L or get the color picker and I want to select the color that we have over here. So if I now disable this, we have the same color as the item. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to create the inner part of this item with the nice squares around it. So what we then do is we're going to select it in around there. Go to hold shift, hold shift down, go to the right, go all the way down, go to the left, then down, go to the upper part, go up, go left, go all the way up to where we started. We're going to go right and then connect these two parts with each other. And if they don't align nicely like we have over here, one of the things that you can do is you can go to the node tool. You can either do that by clicking it or pressing A, selecting the node and then holding the shift to align it perfectly fine like we have done over here to get a nice 
circle. So the next thing that I want to do here is I want to select the black parts, which is the item. So I'm going to go and select the eye on my keyboard, then create or color that item with what it is. We can also select L if we wanted to. So we're going to go and select back the item. And we have to fill over here. So I want to go one more time into the color picker, select the color. And when I have those two colors, I'm going to go over here, drag these to the top. And now we will, oh, now we will see really nicely how those items are selected over there. You can also select V to just select away. And we can see that we have our first kind of slot there. Now we want to have this effect where we have those little bars that are crossing around there. So one thing that we can do is take that over really easily. Or what I like to do is make only one bar and then copy that and get the next part. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to select our pen tool, deselect both of these items. And now I'm going to go over here and start with the first box here. So right over there, <coughs> I'm going to select all the way around these things. I'm going to go up, down. Just imagine yourself doing this whole progress over and over again. And when you're completely done with that, you can use the note tool to align those items like you wanted to. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but if you wanted to, you could do that really simply by zooming in, zooming in pressing V or A, I mean, and when you're satisfied with the result, the next thing that we will be doing is we will create, select I again and get that same color over here for all those blocks. Now that we got the blocks, you might want to add some texture to them, which you simply can do by getting this texture. In my case, I don't need the texture or want the texture. So I'm going to select this texture, paste it in, and now I want to rotate this item just by selecting this little ball icon to fit directly into those other boxes that we have. And when I'm satisfied with that, I need to basically align them right over there. So I see that I need to make a little rotation here. And when I'm perfectly aligned, we see that we now created, if we highlight or put away this item, we created our little box and we have the same kind of ID. You can perfectly align this for yourself and set these things up. But for now, on the distance, you don't see that really. So I'm perfectly satisfied. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to create a group of those items. So I'm going to get the background below these items. And then I want to select all these curves here. And I want to group them, which you can simply do by selecting control group or clicking the right mouse button and then click on group. So control G or group. And I'm going to call this one slot. So this is going to be a slot. The next thing that we're going to be doing with those slots is we want to copy those slots and basically hold shift and dragging them over the other slots by quickly creating our inventory screen. And when we're then having all those slots, we're going to group them all together again. And we're going to call this slots. This is our first screen that we're going to be needing. When we're importing those into BuildBox, we're going to export a single slot and, and a final slot. So what I'm going to do right now, right here, is I'm going to export this as a complete slot field. So we're going to export that as a PNG and we're only going to export the file that we have over here. So those items. So let's export that with a transparent background, as you can see. Export that as a PNG, which will be slots. And one of the things that you can do is quickly make yourself a folder for this tutorial. Call that art to game and then in there create a png called slots 
and then to justify those slots you also create a PNG that is just slots but one of the things that we want to do here is we want to basically control C this item so this this slot here this slot I want to control C that item and I then want to create a item so let's say we're gonna go create a new file and I want to make this 200 pixels by 200 pixels and then paste that slot in here and now I want to size this up till around there so that the slot nicely fits in there one other thing that I can do is just keep it like this and then one of the things that is really important is that we export this item as well so as a PNG and we can select the whole area or the bit in there we just want to export this as a PNG so we want to export this as slot so now that BuildBricks is open, we want to do a couple of things here. First of all, we're going to go to the left corner where we see Open Project and Create New. And we're going to click Create New. Then what we want to do is we want to create an in in individual here. And we're going to create a 2D template. So this one over here. We're going to create that in a landscape mode. Or project mode, but I will do a landscape mode here. We will be having a observer and then we will have free roaming. The movement in the game will be joystick and we will have no background. There is no gravity and the final game will be none and our ornament will be a spear. <coughs> then to justify this little game world, we have a 2D world here. And the one thing that we want to be doing right now is we want to create a UI screen. So you can either drag one out of here and drop that in, or you can click select with your right mouse, mouse button at UI screen. And we're going to call this UI screen the inventory. So with that, I'm going to sync that up to there because right now we want to get rid of this UI screen and just simply have a inventory screen. As simple as that. So I'm gonna or remove that. And right now I'm gonna go into my inventory screen and I wanna set up my item. So first things first, we're gonna be needing to create or drag in our item. So what can we do? We can open our file browser, go to pictures, then go to our item, and we wanna be dragging in the slots first. As an image, first things first that we want to be doing here is see if we can resize our item here. So let's resize that into our screen here, which is a landscape. So there we go. And when that is over here at the screen, so let's quickly get that around there. So this is in our screen. The next thing that we want to do is we want to create or drag in our slot also as an image. So now you can see that we have exported it with a white background. It's a really easy fix. You can easily go to open Amenity Designer back up. So when Amenity Designer is back open, we're going to go click open the an extra file, which is going to be my slots here. And I'm going to go back in here. Go to layers and select the slot, put it on 100%. Then the next thing that I want to do is I want to select all those curves here, copy them, go into the other slot page right over here, paste those in, and then getting rid of the background by removing this pixel. Really simple. I got my background now. So the next thing that I want to do over here is I want to save this. That's my new page and it's really cool that you guys know how that works so this is going to be slot we're going to save it as slot we're going to make an infinity designer file 
next things that we're going to be doing is quickly exporting those grouping slot save and export when exported go to buildbox and when buildbox is opened you're quickly going to drag in your slots image and the next thing that you want to do is you want to want to perfectly align that with one of the slots and when aligned you can get rid of the sample image and you get your first slot so that is it for this tutorial so in the next part we're going to create the next inventory um, items that we're going to be needing to fill up our spaces so make sure to be there and to be ready if you are wanting to become part of buildbox guru you can simply subscribe to the channel you can join our discord server there will be a link in the description to the discord server and how to subscribe um, don't forget when you subscribe to turn on the notifications by hitting the little bell and i hope to see you guys in the next tutorial here on buildbox guru till next time